This is The Great Expanse by John Bat 426 here on YouTube. It is always a pleasure to come before you guys with new videos. I love recording them. I love editing them. I love putting my unique spin on them for you. Yes, you. For your listening pleasure, for your viewing pleasure, hopefully. And as I want to reinforce, sorry, pop-up game. You know how much I love pop-ups. But I want to reinforce the Pittsburgh Steelers hat will never be seen again. Unless I have an old video that I never uploaded that has the hat on. All right, but no. It's out of here. I was told that the hat is dingy by someone that loves me. But either. Anyway, you know what the video is about. You've already hit the thumbnail. But if you've liked the videos that you've seen thus far, hit the like button. If not, hit the dislike button. Share these videos with other people that you know that like comic book related stuff as much as you do. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. Which one? All. Not personalized on the one underneath, but all. So the next time a new video is dropped, you'll know about it second. I'll know about it first. I'm still the champ. The one red champ. All right. So new look, just a new configuration, sort of. The lighting looks very spectacular right now. I don't know what I did. Maybe my glasses are just clean. <laughs> but anyway, you know what the video's about. I kind of do. I know what it's supposed to be about. I know the trajectory. Trajectory. T-R-A-J-E-C-T-O-R-Y. A great word for the great experience by John Bat 426. But I haven't read the article yet. I will have read it by the time I upload it. Let me just get to it. James Gunn's DCU finds its Supergirl. House of the Dragons Millie Alcock. Now... I have not seen House of the Dragon, okay? I did see the three candidates that were being reported to be in the running to be Supergirl, and Millie Alcock was one of them. I think Millie Alcock was my least favorite, just to be honest. Again, I haven't seen House of the Dragon. I don't know what her makeup looks like. I don't really know what the actress looks like. I only know from the, the photos that were circulating at the time. But it says, Gunn confirmed the casting on social media and welcomed Alcock to the DCU. So let's see what she looks like. There's a big old picture here. This might work. The article is by Cat Bailey. Okay, and the website is IGN. IGN, stop putting hidden stuff from trailers with cameo superstars in the thumbnails! You haven't done it this time. Anyway, let's get to the article. James Gunn and Peter Safran's DCU reboot officially has its Supergirl. Remember, Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow is going to be the very first live-action Supergirl movie, which is one of the movies that I'm looking forward to the most, okay? Gunn confirmed on threads that House of the Dragon actress Melly Alcock will be donning the cape following reports from the rap, writing, Welcome to the DCU, Millie Alcock. So it's official. IGN has reached out to Alcock's representatives along with the DC Studios. Alcock, who plays Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen in House of the Dragon, is said to have beat out Amelia Jones and Meg Donnelly for the role, according to a report by Deadline. It's unclear whether she will appear in Superman Legacy, though she's reportedly expected to appear in a DCU film before taking on the role of the title character in Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. I'm not familiar with that story, but I'm very interested in it. Uh, here we go. Alcock joins the cast that includes Rachel Brosnahan as Lois Lane, Nicholas Holt as Lex Luthor, and David Cornsweet as the Man of Steel. Based on the 2022 comic by Tom King and Bilquis Evely, Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow will feature a very different Supergirl than audiences are used to, focusing on a woman who has gone through it all. The film will be written by Anna Noguera. Superman Legacy will kick off the ambitious DCU reboot, is expected to begin filming in March, with a release date set for July 11th, 2025, and that is the article. Um, I'm always cautious when people say you're going to see a character as you've never seen them before. I'm always hesitant. You know what I mean? Because it's like, okay, so are they going to be really dark characters? Because I think that may be where the DCEU went wrong by presenting Superman and Batman in a light that we were never accustomed to seeing and we frankly didn't like that much. When I say we, I'm, I'm, I'm including more than just myself. Because I... They were all right to me. You know what I mean? It, it was different. Yes, I acknowledge it was different. But when you start off with that, you're not going to... You ain't used to this kind of Supergirl. 
that gives me pause. I hesitate when I hear that kind of stuff. Uh, and just a side note here, but Nicholas Holt will be playing Lex Luthor. I want to get my thoughts on that. I really wanted a new actor that I'd never seen before to play Lex Luthor. I'm familiar with Nicholas Holt from primarily from the X-Men sort of prequel movies. Days of Future Past. Okay, obviously I messed up the order. First Class, Apocalypse and Dark Phoenix, where he played Hank McCoy, Beast. Uh, he must have had a very good audition because I don't see him as Lex Luthor at all. And I'm not saying it's a bad casting because we know historically people kind of crapped on Michael Keaton being cast as Batman, Heath Ledger being cast as the Joker, and Ben Affleck being cast as Batman. So I'm not crapping on the castings. I'm just saying from my heart, I wish they'd have picked somebody that I've never seen before. Because I love new faces in Hollywood. I, know, I love new faces on the big screen for superhero fair, F-A-R-E. And that's probably why I like Hugh Jackman so much. Wolverine made Hugh Jackman a star. You know what I mean? Am I ghosting? Uh -oh, I think so. But anyway. But uh, let's go back to Millie Alcock. That's what the article is supposed to be about. She does have a different look. Like she's not a traditional like beauty per se. I'm not saying she's ugly. But... And I'm thinking maybe that's why it works. Because it's not like a, a model or... A girl of Americana. This is a girl that was, I think, born on a chunk of kryptonite. I mean, I'm sorry, of Krypton. After the explosion, I believe there's like a large population of Krypton that was intact that survived. I think they dug underground so they could survive. You know, the harshness of space. You know, there's no pressure. There's no pressure in space. There's no gravity, so there's no pressure. So if you ever went to the surface, you just go ah. But anyway, so. We're talking about a woman who indeed has been through it all. Based, and this is a new comic. This isn't like old mythology or old lore of Supergirl. So you really have to tread lightly. And it seems like James Gunn wants to go in a roguish direction. Not just with basing a new rebooted DCU on a comic book that just came out two years ago. So it's definitely going to be unfamiliar territory. And also the fact that Damian Wayne's Robin is going to be in The Brave and the Bold. I'm like, we haven't even gotten Nightwing in live action yet. But again, these are concerns that I'm voicing. I'm not saying that the DCU is going to go off a cliff, sort of like the DCEU did. I'm just saying, hmm. All right. So, Millie Alcock is our Supergirl. As I said, it was reported that there were three in the running. Millie Alcock, Meg Donnelly, and I do not remember the actresses, the other name of the actress, of the third actress, but I definitely remember Meg Donnelly, because I think that's the one that I kind of like out of these three. And she had that more Americana look, that more small girl, that sort of country, you know, FarmersOnly.com. <laughs> the FarmersOnly.com look my traditional Supergirl has. We might have a winner here. Just because of how different she looks and how different the story is, all right? So, <clears throat> excuse me. What do you think of the casting of Millie Alcock as Supergirl? Kara Zor-El, I believe? Kara Zor-El. I'm, eh, because I've never seen House of the Dragon, so I don't know how good of an actress she is, but I think I'm on board. I think I'm on board with the DCU, all right? I'm going to be an audience member and not tell James Gunn or any of the other casting people how to cast their films or how to write their stories, all right? What do you think of Millie Alcock as Supergirl? Leave a comment or dissertation if necessary, just to let me know. David Brent, let them know where those comments or dissertations go, sir. Okay. I think he still must have to do it. Thank you, Mr. Brent. Do your part, and I'll do my part, so the Great Expanse by John Bat 426 can and will expand. It's in the name. <laughs>